Well, hello scrappers and retro computing nerds. Uh, I want to do a quick video on um, testing salvaged uh, Logic IC chips. Um, now, if you're watching my channel, you know most of my videos are about scrapping out old electronic equipment and recovering the gold and other precious metals in them. But I have another hobby, which is retro computing and electronics, and I'm always building stuff. So I will set aside some useful bits and pieces for my own use a lot of times, rather than just rendering it all down for gold. So um, in another video, which I'll put a link to, I'll put the upper right hand corner, I made a tester to test salvaged Z80 microprocessor chips for use in retro computing. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm testing some salvaged um, 7.4 LS series logic chips again for use in retro computing because I'm going to be building a, uh, a breadboard retro computer Z80. Um, that series is coming up but I need some chips for that so I've already got plenty of Z80s because my tester works great and I ran through oh probably 40 Z80s that I have salvaged over the over the years almost all of them were good amazingly in fact I have found that salvaged IC chips are almost always good, even if they go through um, board depopulation in my kiln, uh, they still come out good. Uh, they're tough little beasties, these ICs. I mean, I'll get a lot of them with missing or legs, missing legs or legs so mangled that I can't salvage them, but uh, electrically, they're still good, they still work. But I have to test them before I would, you know, use them in my one of my retro computing designs because I wouldn't know whether the chips are bad or my design is bad, you know, unless I tested the chips up front. Now, I have one of these cheap Chinese um, EEPROM programmer type things, and this is a model uh, TL86 II Plus or II Plus. I'm not sure which. Um, very inexpensive. You can find them on Amazon and lots of other places online. And it's a great little EEPROM programmer, whatnot. In fact, it, it does all kinds of things besides just program EEPROMs. And what some people may not realize is that it will also check logic chips. 7.4 series um, TTL chips, it'll also do uh, CMOS 4000 series chips, lots of other chips. It will test them and make sure they actually work up here. And I better probably zoom in on the screen so you can see that. Um, there's a little, little logic symbol up there on the screen, like a little logic gate up here. And if you click on that, it brings up the logic gate testing screen. And let's see, what have I got here? I've got some uh, 7.4 LSO2s, quad, what are those? Those are quad NOR gates. I need to test those because I need those for my address decoding. So let me scroll down here and find the 7.4 LSO2. There it is right there. It shows the truth table of it down here. Now, if I plug, hopefully my parrots are going to cooperate and be quiet during this. Otherwise, I'll have to move into the other room to finish this video. If they get noisy, because they can be very noisy, can't you guys? So, if I put a salvage 7.4 LSO2 chip in here, and then I do test, it takes no time at all because it's you know it's a very simple chip all vector testing normal it's a good chip and I've got two of them I only need one but I grabbed two out of my bag of miscellaneous 7.4 LS series chips that uh, I have salvaged I mean most of them get rendered down for their gold but I, I save some so I can work on my own projects so and then let's see here's the other one let me put this one in and test it. And again, ah, vector testing normal. So it's another good chip. 
And then I need some 74 L I need a 74 LS uh, 377. So here's one right here. It's an octal latch. Get it in the right place. And I pulled it out of my bag. I separated out uh, 74 LS 27X and it's 37X in this bag and 74 LS 24X in this bag. Just you know, just to try and what I need is something with a lot of little cubby holes to sort them out. But uh, I'm semi-sorted. So let's see, I need to find the 74LS377 on this list. And this list is, is very comprehensive. In fact, I just downloaded a software update. Uh, they regularly put out updates uh, for this. And you would be amazed at how many different chips this covers. There it is, 74377. Again, there's the truth table, simple test, and oh, vector testing normal. Another good chip. Like I said, I hardly ever find a bad chip. Even though I can be kind of rough on the way I depopulate these from boards sometimes. Especially if I put them through the kiln. Let me test this one too. Yeah, that one's good too. I, I only need one, but I brought two in just in case one of them was bad. So, so there you go. If you need, uh, if you need to test uh, 74LS or 74S or 74HC series logic chips, or you need to test the uh, 4000 series CMOS logic chips, you can do it with this EEPROM programmer because it has a built-in chip testing routine a lot of people don't know about. It. In fact, it will test um, not just logic chips, it'll test a lot of peripheral chips um, for uh, microprocessors. It, it, it does all kinds of things. It does everything but make you a cup of coffee. So it, it's really great considering that it's, it's a fairly cheap uh, piece of hardware. So there you are. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting, helpful. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if so. Give it a like. Uh, subscribe to see future videos. I've got that breadboard computer coming along. Uh, there will be future videos on that. I also have, I'm still working on the uh, System Master single board computer. Uh, there's going to be another video on that coming out very soon. So subscribe to see those future videos and press the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press to get notified when future videos come out. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.